everybody, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting. So in this video, I'm going to attempt a kind of a cracked skull, like cracked head look. I don't really know what to call it, but um, now, of course, this is another practice. I've never done anything like this before, so um, I'm not real sure how it's going to turn out, but we're just going to try. And I was going to like kind of bring it down here and it's just going to be blackness. There's not going to be any brain or uh, gray matter or ooze. So right here, I'm just kind of creating in my hairline. So I'm going to have to go up in the hairline a little bit. Maybe. like that. Then I'm going to go in with some black. Um, this is my CC Beauty Pot um, uh, body paint and I'm gonna just kind of go in here with the black. But you know what, if I can't make it work like this, I'll just put some blood in there and then make it look like a big bloody mess. So, okay, so I'm just gonna put this around the edges to try and highlight it a little bit. I don't really need to create a shadow because it's not like something that's being lifted off the skin. It's just a split right down the center. So I'm just kind of putting white liner around it. You could also use white, um, like white paint with a really super fine brush, like maybe something like this, or that would actually probably be even finer. Um, but I like using the NYX uh, white liner. Now, I think we're going to take my bruise wheel and we're going to go um, I think I'm going to take some of this purple, like the, it's kind of like a dark purple, almost black. Yeah. And I'm going to just go around the edge on this side with it just to see which side looks better and see what I need to work on. So, okay, and then I'm going to go in it with the kind of the rust color right here and do that right just next to the purple. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the brighter red. Um, this one right here. Okay. I think I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to actually go in with this white and thicken the white line on this side a little bit. I think this will be a good brush for the white. And I'm just going to go on the edge. The highlight on this side a little bit out. Now I'm going to take the liner and go through it again. See what I did? I start to get impatient and then I start making these big mistakes. And why am I getting impatient? I don't have anywhere to be. I did a voodoo doll last night that looked terrible and y'all aren't going to see that video. I just deleted it. It was awful looking. I don't know what I did wrong. Um, definitely something I need more practice on. 
but I mean, I don't have a problem uh, sharing my bad ones either. But uh, that one was really exceptionally bad. <laughs> like this one we know isn't going to be perfect. I'm teaching myself. I just feel like it has to be sharper right in there. Yeah. Okay. So let's go in with the coagulated blood. This stuff is so awesome. And we're just going to kind of go around the edges with it. This is really thick and pasty, um, like coagulated blood would be. And it's kind of nasty. So if you don't like the sight of blood, this is also Maron, um, Maron, Maron. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, but if you don't like the sight of blood, this is the, this is stage blood. This is theater blood. So this is going to be that blood. Just gonna kind of dance it around just the edge there. We need to look a little healthy, a little unhealthy under the eyes. So now if we tilt this forward, you can't see the top of my head. Then, I don't know. I don't think it looks bad. I mean, if you just open your mind and use your imagination, it's okay. I think maybe the blood should be... Oh, no. I think the blood should be a little more drippy. Ugh. Yeah. And that's more fun. It's not perfect, but it, again, it was fun. Um, like I say all the time, I'm no professional. Be kind. There are a lot better ones on YouTube than me, but, um, you know, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm taking y'all on the journey with me at, in, through my successes and failures. So, um, but thanks so much for watching and I'm glad you joined me. Uh, get your friends to, to subscribe to me because I am going to have a nice big 2,000 subscriber giveaway if I make it to 2,000 by my birthday on February 20th. Alrighty, uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye!